Hey guys, it's your girl Terry Pepper and it's Sunday, August 5th, 2018 and it's day 5 of my 10 day dry fast or dry fasting until I get to 292. I don't know if you can hear all that, but I'm in a bathing suit, right? Oh yeah, that lake water. <sighs> Listen, so yesterday I figured out that cool water maybe maybe gives you like a spark of energy when you're dry fasting. It could just be the contact with water in general, I'm not going to lie. It could definitely be the contact with water in general. So I'm out here. I told you, day five, I was swimming and sleeping all day. So, I'm out here at the lake, and it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's lovely. Um, it's funny. I found this bathing suit. I don't know where it came from, because I know I didn't buy it. I know this because I haven't worn a bathing suit in about 10 years. I haven't worn a bathing suit in about 10 years, but... I bought this. I didn't buy this. It popped up. I was cleaning. It popped up. I have it. Rain! Is he in the floaty? Get the floaty! Sorry. Uh, anyway, I'm in a bathing suit for like the first time in like a decade. And uh, it it's not uncomfortable at all. It's not... It's not as uncomfortable as I thought it was going to be. It's actually kind of like, it's okay. Like, I normally wear shorts and a tank top, and that's super heavy and weighs me down. But, like, it's it's, 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 it's actually kind of comfortable. So, I had a shock this morning. I told you yesterday, like, I had, I was losing, I had stopped losing six pounds a day. I had lost three pounds yesterday. I thought I was stabilizing, losing, going to lose the recommended, what, well, not the recommended, but lose the three pounds that you lose, like, on dry fasting. You lose about three pounds a day. So I figured I was going to lose that. Yes, I know I was washing the buses. Yes, I know that is fasted cardio. No, I did not know that it was going to have the impact on my weight that it did. So yesterday I was 316.2 or something or rather. I was 316 for sure. Well, this morning your girl was 310. I am excited about that. I feel like I worked. I feel like I worked. I worked my ass off. I scrubbed the fuck out them buses. I definitely feel like I worked for them three extra pounds. And it's day five and I'm at 310. So, 292 is not super far-fetched like I had thought it was. Like, 292 is close. 292 is close. And I'm just like, 310? That's some good shit. Like, yes, I was excited. I was physically exhausted yesterday. Yes, I was physically exhausted after washing the buses. After four hours of washing buses by hand, I was physically exhausted. But I'm physically exhausted all the time after washing the bus. Normally, I eat and get a perk of energy. I wasn't able to do that. I was not able to go to sleep right away. Um, I did take a little nap. I did. Who? Oh, well, Maya's fine. As long as she's breathing, she's fine. Uh, okay, she can cry if that's what she wants to do, then let her cry as long as she ain't drowning. Damn. This. <laughs> well, she's not getting a floaty. It's not her turn. I forgot what I was talking about. Snap. Oh, I tried to go out Ubering last night. I was out for a whole hour, and there was nobody running. Nobody needed to run, so I came home. And I said, oh, well, better luck next time. <laughs> I was tired anyway. I didn't want to go out, but I went out for namesake 
just for namesake because I was up and I didn't feel lightheaded. So I went out and there was nothing going on. So I went back home. But it's day five and it's almost like, I don't know, two o'clock or something. We're going to be out here till four o'clock. And I'm not going to lie. Swimming makes me hungry. <laughs> Probably because it's so exhausting. Like, swimming is exhausting. And I was hungry when I fed them. They had sandwiches and peanuts, bowl peanuts. I was kind of hungry. And I was kind of hungry. I had some hunger pains, but it subsided. It's fine. I feel fine. It's a day five. It's not it not it's a day five, but it is day five. I am halfway through my ten day dry fast and like I feel great. Like like I said, aside from washing on buses and being tired yesterday, essentially yesterday was like a day one too. Like I felt great. I feel great right now. Like I don't know if it's the onions. Somebody was like, because you were prepped this time. It could be because I was prepped. But I prepped, well, my second dry fast I didn't prep for. But all the other dry fast I had prepped for. I mentally prepared myself. I mentally told myself I'm going to dry fast. I'm going to work my way up into it. I drank in a gallon of water the day before my dry fast just so that I am heavily hydrated. Like, I prepped for dry fast before like I said this is not my fourth round but understand that this is day five of this dry fast and it literally feels like a day one again like yesterday was tiring because I was watching the bus but this today's a day one today's definitely a day one and oh my gosh like I'm loving it like I'm loving it. Uh, I don't know if it's because of all the water I just absorbed through my skin. <laughs> it could be. I could feel great because of the water I absorbed through my skin. But I don't know because I'm about to go absorb some more. I'm going to go spend like another hour in there. I don't know. I am kind of tired. Like I got out because my stomach was cramping. I'm not going to lie. My stomach was cramping like I had just eaten a meal and it was cringing and cramping so I got out and laid <laughs> and just laid out in the sun I might go back in the water I don't know but as of for right now I feel good like I don't care what day six has to hold because I know tomorrow night I will be dry brushing I will be hot Epsom salt in my bath aka my sauna my ghetto sauna and I will have onions on my feet again. Uh, apparently, onions on your feet is a weird notion to people. Interesting. When I mentioned the medicated pads that have all types of chemicals used to suck out toxins, everybody was, oh, good, go for it. I say onions. I was like, oh, onions? Mm. I would rather have onion feet than corn chip feet. And I'm not going to lie. Since I've been wrapping my feet, and well, since I've been wrapping the onion around my feet with saran wrap, and of course I have to wash that off in the morning, and lotion, my feet are so soft. So, double benefit for me. I'm getting detoxing relief at night. I'm waking up feeling better, better than ever. Like, I'm waking up feeling like, and fucking incredible. Like, this is like another day one for me. Like, this is day five, and it's, I don't have four day ones. <laughs> like I said, like I'm blessed this dry fast. And I get soft feet from the saran wrap. So yeah, onions might be a little weird, but onions are a natural cleanser. If you ingest them, they naturally cleanse your blood in their raw state. So putting them on the bottom of my feet and 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 somehow they're literally extracting the toxins out my feet. I don't know how it's doing it, but that's what onions do. So that's what the onion is doing, and it's great. I'm getting detox symptoms relief. I'm getting soft feet. Uh, I'm feeling great. My energy level, my energy level is through the roof. It's it's through the roof. Uh, like a lot of you now, like I feel super super energized. It's amazing. Like I did not expect.
expect to feel this good on day five. Like I thought I was going to be like slightly struggling and that I would be struggling to get through these 10 days. But I realized that struggle might not come until like day eight. And oh God, it's huge. I hope it doesn't sting me. And even then, I'm like, I don't know. Like, this dry fast is completely different. I don't know what to expect. I'm just going to keep using my detoxing symptom methods, like onions on the bottom of my feet every day, dry brushing every other day, and my ghetto sauna, which is a hot bath with Epsom salt every three days. And today is onions on the bottom of my feet. Tomorrow is all three. Right? Like, tomorrow's going to be a nice pampering. I'm going to spend a whole hour in the bathroom. Like, it's going to be it's gonna be a nice pampering day. I'm excited. And, I don't know, 310. 310.6. Like, I knew I said I wasn't going to get excited about my weight in the 300s. But, to see that 6 pounds after being 3 pounds, to see that 6 pounds and see 310, like, I saw 310 and for some reason... 300 just seemed so much more closer than yesterday. Like, <laughs> that's a huge spy spider. Oh, God. So, yeah, like, I'm 310, and it's, I'm happy about that. I'm not going to lie. I'm happy about that. I don't know what tomorrow weight's going to be. Um, like I said, I'm out here swimming. Who knows? I might retain the water from the water. Does that sound right? I might retain the lake water. I don't know because it's not ingested. But I'm definitely swimming it up. I'm definitely swimming it up. I'm definitely enjoying myself. And it's like I'm halfway through. That's all I can say is like when you're halfway through, the latter half doesn't seem nearly as daunting. Especially when I've had so many day ones. Like I've had so many day ones that like I'm just like... I'm just like, I, I guess I'm waiting on the symptoms. I haven't had headaches yet. It's like I'm waiting for the, the detox symptoms to kick in and they haven't yet. And I'm just like, well, let's continue with the day. And it's great. It's great. A lot of you not. It's great. I'm loving it. And I really want to say it's the onions. I, I, I could say it's prepping, but the fifth day in, and I still feel like it's a day one, has to be the onions the onions i don't know what the onions are doing even if it's just pulling the toxins from the top of my body to the bottom of my body that's enough that i'm waking up and feeling great and i and i don't have that super dry taste yeah i woke up with a dry mouth but i don't have that super dry taste in my mouth like i am i am enjoying this dry fast this round i am enjoying like no lie. I don't know if I'm enjoying it so much because I was in so much physical pain last week after that fast food feasting fucking failure fiasco. Yeah, I threw in an extra F in there because I'm really, really upset with myself. Like, I guess I shouldn't be upset with I did it because I learned so much, but I am. I'm still upset with myself. I'm still upset with, like, the symptoms. Like, my feet are still swollen. My feet are still swollen. My feet are still swollen. And it was crazy. After that seven-day dry fast, my feet weren't swollen. I was actually able to see my ankle bones. And that was like a first time ever in my life. I don't think I've ever seen my ankles. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like, I don't think I've ever seen my ankles. Like, understand, when I've been over 300 pounds, I've been over 300 pounds since, like, the sixth grade. Like, understand, I've been over 300 pounds since sixth grade. I lost weight. Got down to 250. That's a lie. 270, 260, 275. And I went back up. But I've been living in the 300s for 20 years. I've been over 300 pounds for 20 years. Ketones give you such mental clarity. But I've been over 300 pounds. For over 20 years since elementary school and just now 
just last week, the end of July 2018, was the first time I experienced bloating. I experienced true water weight. I experienced true miserableness via food. Like, I... I don't think I've ever understood what being gluttonous really was because I've always just like been like a glutton. So I've never, I don't think I've ever not been a glutton long enough to even grasp the concept of being a glutton. And now, like I said, that's seven days. Like the first five days, the my first five day uh, dry fast broke my sugar cravings. And literally since that Friday dry fast in June. I have not craved sweets. I have not wanted sweets. And I don't think I've even eaten sweets. Like if I eaten something sweet, it was like like I don't think I enjoyed it. And I don't recall eating things sweet. I hadn't eaten chips. You tried, did not go well. Have eaten haven't eaten chips. Um I haven't eaten candy and stuff. I haven't eaten cookies and cakes. I was just eating fast food. And now, like I said, after that seven days I can assure you like for the rest of the month for sure there will be no more fast food um I will probably continue that in September I will say no more fast food in September um I am really 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 honestly thinking like I probably will end up being along the lines down the road end up being a fruititarian no comment whatever Definitely, like vegetarian, fruititarian, fruititarian with shrimp. <laughs> I don't know. I like salad though, so maybe I can't give up salad. <laughs> but I do know that for the rest of August, there will be no more fast food. Uh, I am not. I am not. Rushing towards my refeed at all. Understand these five days went by super fast. Probably, that's probably why every one of them felt like a day one. Except for day four. Which was just physically exhausting. Which I knew in itself. But like I'm not rushing to the end of this. Because I'm not going to lie. I'm afraid to eat. Like I wasn't afraid before. But I'm definitely afraid now. Like I don't want to bloat. I don't want to retain water. I don't want to binge. And I'm not going to lie. Like I told you, clearly I have an eating problem. I really believe, like, I'm I, I'm scared because I think that I'm going to eat, like, what I'm supposed to eat and then, like, turn around and eat crazy again. And I... I am going to definitely, definitely put bulk of my energy into ensuring <laughs> that I do not fuck up my refeeding. I don't... Oh, God. I... I don't know how long I'm going to refeed because I'm coming off the 10th. Well, the 10th is my last day, which means I can start... Like at least drinking water on the 11th and start refeeding and whatnot the 11th or the 12th. I know we're going to a beach next weekend. Um, like I said, I'm searching for a watermelon now. I'm definitely probably going to eat watermelon or fruit out on the beach um, with water. I'm missing water now. There's a reason I'm not sitting out in the sun. It's like 90 degrees. And if I sat in the sun right now, I wouldn't do too well. So I'm sitting in the shade. But I'm going to get a watermelon. But I'm definitely, definitely, definitely putting all my energy into refeeding properly this fast. At the end of this fast. I really want to see what happens if I refeed properly at the end of a fast. Like, I see, I've seen what happens when I OMAD on fast food. I've seen what happens 
when I try to do watermelon and whatnot. And I've seen what happened when I binge eat on fast food. So I fasted three different times. I've refed three different times. And this would be the four free feed. And this might, this might be the only proper refeed. And I don't even know what proper means, but this might be the only refeed that I assure you won't have fast food encompassed in it. Um, like I said, there will be tofu tacos on deck. Um, there is morning side veggie burgers on deck. And on deck, I mean in the house in the freezer. Like, uh, the kids are back. We're prepping for school. So there's definitely food on deck. Um, sushi. Somebody tell me if I can eat sushi. Somebody let me know. Somebody write in my comments if sushi is, is okay to refeed on. Like, I don't know, but if it is, I'll eat some sushi. Um, there is one restaurant in my in my town that specializes in a vegan vegetarian menu. I think I'm going to go there. See what they got. Try it out. Why not? It cannot hurt. And then I'm pretty sure the week after school starts, I will dry fast again. So not the week, not next week, not the week coming up. Next week is the next five days, but not the week of the 13th either. That's the first day of school. So I probably, I'll still be refeeding, testing my waters. I'm definitely going to pull some old mad days out my ass during that week and then the following week I will be doing a three to five day dry fast and I say three to five days three to five days because three days I could pull out for sure no problem at least and if I'm still feeling okay I will go ahead and push it but like I said I drive a school bus with over 50 elementary kids so given that it's the first couple of weeks of school I will be using my voice a lot I will be talking and walking and exerting myself so I'm gonna try three days if I can get through Fridays that would be fucking excellent because then that weekend I'll refeed and then I'll definitely go back into another dry fast like I'm going to try to see if I can dry fast like five days back to back to back to back to back. This is a 10 day. I'm going to be off for a week. And then I'm going to do a five day. Off for two days. Five day. Off for two days. Five days. Off for two days. Five days. That sounds like a month of work. And that's where I'm going to try to get to. I'm going to try to get to the mid-September. Definitely the beginning of October with this regimen. Five days on, two days off. Five days on, two days off. And I'm not 100% sure if I can go five days and just jump like right back in the food like I've been doing that I've been getting off a dry fast and literally eating meals whether fast food or other within 12 hours of ending my dry fast so it hasn't hurt me yet hasn't hurt me yet so comes August like I said well I'm in August but come after this dry fast rounds Five, six, seven, eight, for sure. Nine, ten. I'm gonna do the next. Yeah, the next six rounds will be five, three to five days. Water on the day before, and then definitely an OMAD. That's what I'm trying to get at. That's what I'm trying to get at. Because my birthday, I'm trying to go to Orlando. What's in Orlando, you ask? Universal Studios. Why would a 33-year-old for her birthday want to go to Universal Studios? <laughs> for one, the last time I was at Universal Studios, there was this one ride, the Hawk. The Hawk. Like the Incredible Hawk, the green guy that gets really big. Yeah. I could not fit on it. I was sad. My mom went on it. My mom went on it twice, and my brother went on it, and... My mom only liked roller coasters, but she went on it twice. So I knew the ride had to be fun. 
No, my brother went on twice. My, my mom went on it once. My brother went on it twice. But I could not go on it because I could not fit on it. And ever since then, like, the hawk has been looming over me. Like, I need to ride that ride. It's been looming over me. And I believe, like, yes, everyone's like, Terry, you're getting it this dry fast. You're absolutely right. I told you. I am not bullshitting come August. Like, I bullshitted it in June, and I fucked around in July. I'm not bullshitting in August. August, I'm running, and I'm getting it. I'm on these dry fasting streets, waiting for the rain. <laughs> I'm on these dry fasting streets waiting for the rain to hit. And yes, I'm getting it. I'm picking up speed. I'm fitting to accelerate because come October, I'm definitely probably going to be like 2 250ish, 270ish, like one of the two. Definitely by October, like definitely. So I'm just excited cuz I'm definitely going to Universal Studios for my birthday for uh uh fright night halloween scare or terror or whatever it's called i'm going there and i'm going to ride i'm going to get the armband that lets me skip the line and i'm going to ride every fucking ride twice and i'm going to ride the hawk maybe more than twice because it's been looming over me for over a decade like i went with that one and, and that was like in high school and it's been looming over me yes I conquered Six Flags of D.C. That was looming over me as well from high school. And I conquered that. And now it's just time to conquer more things. The games, the, the time for fun is over. It's time to get shit done. So, it's day five. Definitely, 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 definitely feels like a day one again. <laughs> I love it. Like... I fucking love it. Like I'm I'm loving this round the drive fast thing. I'm at 310.6. It's day five. Tomorrow, I don't care what's gonna happen tomorrow. All I know is I'm dry brushing, I'm hot spawning it, and I'm onioning my feet. And I'm just happy. <gasps> That's what's happening. Tomorrow marks day one of the group freestyle five day dry fast with Fasting Diva and the crew. I can't even call it a group no more. We were a few, three to five. Then we were a group, like five to 15. Now we're a crew. There's like over 20 people that are fasting, like 20 or 30 people. Like the group is huge. Like it's definitely a crew. So if you're interested in joining Fasting Divas or our group Dry Fast or our group Freestyle Fasting, I'll be dry fasting. Clearly, you they're going to help me finish out the last five days of my dry fast. Like they're coming in literally on my day six to ten. So that's going to help me finish my dry fast, which is going to be great. Like I'm happy that I'm going to have their support and their vibes because it's the last five days. Like, yes, I'm going to need their help and support. The fuck? Of course I'm going to need it. Yeah, I got through these first five days. But I'm definitely going to need your help the last five days. Like, especially day eight, nine, and ten. That's really uncharted territory for me. Never gone that far. Never gone that long. So, I'm definitely... I, I, I don't intend to call Fasting Diva again crying and moping about food. But if I do, I'm sure she's going to understand. And she's going to be like, you know what? I know that's what she's going to say. She's going to be like, you know what, Terry? You did great. You did amazing. You're a warrior. Now go get some water. And I'm going to be like, well, I don't even bring my ass. And she's going to be like, get some water. And I'm going to be like, okay, fine. We're going to hold that off, though. Because like I said, I'm going to hold off. I'm going. This is all about longevity with this one. It's not necessarily about weight. Although, like I said, I'm happy about my weight. 310 from 316. I definitely didn't expect that. But this is definitely about longevity. I'm trying to see as long as I can go. Um, because I know I won't be able to do an extended dry fast like this for the rest of the year. I, I'm pretty sure I won't. I won't have the time. And I'm just... I'm just feeling great. It's day five. I'm halfway through. Go to Facebook under Groups. And look up Fasting Divas Group Fasting. Join our group fast. It starts tomorrow. Freestyle, 
five day group fast. That's I mean you can dry fast for one day, water fast for one day, OMAD, which is intermittent fasting. You can intermittent dry fast for 20 hours and then eat for four hours. Like there's so many options. It's a freestyle. So do what you want. But definitely join in. Like don't let me have all the fun. Like I said, when I said you were gonna see this fat girl dry fasting, did you think I was gonna look like this? I know I said I was gonna be crying, but I'm crying from joy right now. <laughs> I'm crying from joy. It's awesome. It's awesome. This is awesome. So go to Instagram uh, at and and follow me at Instagram at Fat Girl Dry Fasting. Like, share, and subscribe on here to my new subscribers. Hey, 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 